It's been years since we've had a newer Nightmare on Elm Street movie, with the current resurge of slasher movies receiving sequels, legacy sequels and more. The Elm Street franchise has been an expected candidate for a new movie set within the same universe as the original timeline. Recently there have been fresh claims that Blumhouse have managed to acquire the rights to the franchise and are currently developing a legacy sequel. But is all of this legit, and if so, will Robert Englund or Heather Langenkamp return? Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Mask. Today we're going to be discussing the latest wave of rumours regarding A Nightmare on Elm Street and whether or not a legacy sequel is actually happening. So firstly I have to confess I have been sat on this for some time as someone reached out to me who was working for a film studio hoping to acquire the rights to A Nightmare on Elm Street. The reason why he reached out to me was because when I did my last Elm Street video he didn't want me to be misled on what was happening. Or rather, he didn't want me sending out misinformation, as various sites were basically claiming a sequel was happening already. So what he said was, there has been a bidding war to acquire the rights to Elm Street, and it's unfortunately tied up in a huge amount of legalities that are proving difficult for companies to acquire the rights. One of the major issues is that there are active contracts in place with Jackie Earl Hurley and Rooney Mara, which basically lock those two into a sequel. In the contracts, it specifically stated that the pair are to be involved in a follow-up to the 2010 Elm Street remake. Now, what would have to happen is, a studio who buys the rights to Elm Street would have to find a way to terminate those contracts, and according to what I've been told, it'll cost a lot of money, which basically makes the sale of the franchise rather expensive. Adding to this, numerous companies have legal rights tied into Elm Street, so it's not just a case of buying the rights, the franchise is heavily tied up. So this source's company were wanting to buy the rights to the franchise and hope to create a fresh new movie. The movie was to bring in Heather Langenkamp and Robert Englund as executive producers, which would have allowed Robert the chance to hunt down a replacement for Freddy Krueger himself. The movie they had in mind, and the reason they were in the shortlist to acquire the rights, was similar to Freddy's Revenge. It would have focused on a male lead, and would have provided a completely revamped Freddy Krueger. One that would see the character sporting a robotic arm, rather than a bladed glove. His company didn't get the rights to the franchise however. Now I heard that the selling of the rights for the franchise had reached its climax, with various big studios wanting a huge piece of this Freddy pie. Then this rumour sprung up, and sadly this isn't true. There is no current movie in the works, as a decision still hasn't been made regarding the purchasing of the rights. Apparently due to the legalities, Warner Brothers who took over the rights following the closure of New Line Cinema have said they do intend on selling the rights, but it's such a costly purchase that I believe they are seeking an active workaround to try and get out of paying the cast of 2010's remake. Jason Blum of Blumhouse has requested the rights to just the first movie, apparently. But unfortunately, it's looking likely the entire franchise is locked into this huge tangled legal web. So there you have it, there is no movie in the works. Part of me is glad, I mean if there's a whole tie up with the cast of 2010, it definitely means that whoever gets the movie will need to buy them out, and it's going to cost a lot of money. A lot of money towards a movie, in my opinion, that hardly deserves the Elm Street title. This seems like an ongoing progress, however, so I'm going to keep close watch on the state of the franchise, and if any progress is made, I'm now going to let you know. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and share. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more Elm Street updates and I'll see you in the next video.